Hey guys, it's Rigor 200 here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. So in the last episode, we uh, we started we started this uh, realm. We got ourselves a piece of heart and, some, and a golden bug. And now we're going to finish up this uh, area. So let's go ahead and continue. Looks like the path is impossible. But if you want to, if you want to go... Uh, what I just say, guard? The letter's destroyed, so there's it's not like any humans are gonna come up here. And what's with the elders? If we have a problem, the humans can help us solve, help us with. We should ask them. It's better than suffering for the sake of our pride. I see. All right. So it looks like we won't be able to climb Death Mountain once we resort to a human easily. Ah, okay. So remember what that guy said. If we can, we we can do this. We can we can recall him with the sounds of the thing. We can actually uh, call him again to help us out. So. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. Okay. So he's in Ordon, but we can't go there yet because we're not a human at the moment. So, yeah. Oh, that's the way we came from. Let's not go backwards. That would be a dumb idea. We're almost done here. As you can see, we only have two spear, two uh, things left. So yeah. Death Mountain. There we go. There we go. Now we got one more. We got one more left to get, so. Oh, 
Oh, I actually, hold on. I think I did that wrong. And now they'll just attack me with uh, effortlessly and not do any damage. Also, if light is sold to you, the light has returned to this area. Oh, I'm just starting to have fun. Don't forget that few shadow. <laughs> See you later. Okay. My name is Elden. I am one of the light spirits of Hyrule. I am the spirit that guards these lands. Oh, great hero chosen by the gods. The dark power you seek lies in the sacred grounds of the proud mountain dwellers. But already those grounds have been defiled, and draped in shadow, and seeded with evil. You must go to the sacred grounds and cleanse them. Alright. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to go save the Gorons and cleanse that uh, thing. Link? Oh, po come on. He has a clothesline in the back of the head. Let's <laughs> see, Beth. I told you Link would save us. You are the one for ordering those children we spoke of. We have all met. I'm Renato, shaman of this town. And this is my daughter Luda. The beast took us and left us to die, but Renato, Mr. Renato found us. <laughs> At first, I can't believe they come from s such a distant place as the Ordern Province. <clears throat> yeah, we don't remember much. All of a sudden, everyone was captured by, and then until now, it was been like a nightmare. Yeah, it was like a bad dream, and we couldn't wake up. Hmm, nightmares everywhere these days. It seems this village has certainly seen a share of the recent hardships. The army's attack knew worse. Oh, it's an unexpected change. Uh, the Goron, uh, the mountain, mountain dwelling Goron tribe. They have been our friends since. They had long been our friends, but suddenly treat us as foes. Even now, they refuse to permit us entry to their mines. 
It's strange. Limits be limits be uh, of belief to think that such a gentle, proud tribe could change so suddenly. It makes me wonder if something in those minds has is the cause of th this change. In any case, you must take these children back to va children and flee this village before the more nightmares descend. Of course, I cannot leave my village in such a time. There's no telling what may happen to us here. But it's my job to tr to coax the Goans back from their recent change of heart. Alright, well, let's just go over there and see what we can do about it. We're not gonna take the children back. We're gonna see what we can do about this Goron. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can talk to the Gorons. I mean, they'll probably believe us, right? They'll probably, they'll probably, they'll probably change their ways with us talking to them. So let's go ahead and head over here. I was like, oh, look, he's there to greet us. Hello, buddy. Hey, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Oh, no, he was allowed. Hey, wait. These ladies wanted to go and try. The elder said, no, he was made pass. I, wait, wait a minute. I, I just want to talk. Can we, can we talk about this? I, I mean, uh. A human's strength is nothing compared to a Goron's. You understand me, human? Then away with you. Okay, well, I guess we can't go up the mountain. So, uh, that I'm just throwing out the window. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, fortunately, you're in one piece. I saw you heading up to the mountain trail, so I was worried. Are you trying to reach the Gorons of Death Mountain? It's far too dangerous, Link. They recognize only strength, and no person could not persuade them. But I do know one person who was able to do best them and earn their trust. His name is Bo. You may know him as the mayor of your town, of your hometown, Ordon. Please go to him, and while you're at, you are there, please let him know the children are safe. Of course, getting back would, would be the getting them back would be the best. But we could not keep them safe from the monsters on the road without a horse and cart. Please return to Ordon and inform the parents that their children are free from harm. Give them my word. Okay. I guess they're gonna go back home. Oh, look at the horse. But, oh, okay, opponent, calm down. Well then. Hmm, not too shabby a Wrangler after all. Won't this make you back to your hometown a lot easier? Now, go finish your errands and get so we can get back. back. Get a move on. Okay, Midna. So there's a heart piece I want to get, of course, before we do anything else. And there's also a couple of golden bugs you can collect now that the twilight's clear to this area. First off, Mr. Link, wait! Okay. <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Link. I'm going to leave a letter. This letter is from Uku. 
Well, that is a clue that onward to mail. Okay. I don't know why her voice is so weird, buddy. But it's really weird. Anyways, over here. There's one thing we're going to pick up here. So, uh, by the way, before we go to the third dungeon, there's going to be a lot of side questing. So get ready for that. Yeah, so there's gonna be a lot of side quests we have to do when we get to the third area. Alright, so over here. It's ready to go at the heart piece, but first off. As you heard, there's another golden bug over here, so... What's on this side, is it? That's right here, yeah. No, wait. What's over here? Yeah, where is it? It's around here somewhere. Oh, there you are. So there we got another golden bug now, so that's good. Golden bugs are very important to get in this game. So, so we're going over here now. There's actually a heart piece right over here. So we're going to have, if I want to go there, we're going to go here, select this. If I can. Okay, now I'm going to have to walk over here. Well, there we go, another heart container, another heart piece, but we, not only that, we complete another heart container. So we have five heart containers now. So let's go ahead and head back to Ordon now, because there's nothing else we need to do over here. There's one more heart piece we're going to have to get in, uh, in Ordon, which we'll probably do on a different time. We probably won't do that right, uh, this episode. I mean, I guess I can go a little bit longer. I mean, it's not a big deal. Although I don't want to be like I don't want to like a forty-minute episode though. That'd be pretty boring, I think. Luckily, the horse is luckily the luckily the horse is faster than these guys, so. Uh, they can't easily catch up to you when you're on a pony. Right, first off, I need to talk to this guy again. Did I get off my horse and talk to him? That would be very annoying if I do. Oh, I, I was too close to him. So, you need an oil guy right now? Yes, I'm going to buy the oil bottle. So we got a bottle of lantern oil, which I'm not even going to use. See you guy in the forest. Okay, yeah, I got it. Thank you. I mean, I've already cleared everything. I've already beaten the forest temple and everything. So, yeah. bridge now but we're gonna make a stop over here a pit stop because if you remember right in the last episode we uh, in the last episode we uh, got the wolf on it to help us again so let's go ahead and get this real quick We 
meet again. You have a little more of a look of a hero than you did before. Do you feel ready to learn your next skill? I do. Very well. But before we begin, I must test and show you master the ending blow. The last skill I taught you. Skill I taught you. Now then, come at me. I read that way too soon. <laughs> Excellent. It appears you're certainly capable of my lost art. Very well, my next hand skill is the shield attack. Let it be hewed into your mind. Hidden skill, shield attack. No matter how well tempered the blade, if a foe is clad in armor and bears a shield, the sword will do no harm. And facing such a foe, yes. Yes. Alright, so now we just got a boom, boom, there we go. Excellent. Open a hole in your enemy's defenses and use your sword to strike without hesitation. The shield attack I just taught you can also be used to repel enemy projectile attacks. You practice, yes. Perfect. When an enemy styles you as projectiles, this is how you defeat them, with ease. Done! You have learned the second of my hidden skills, the shield attack. The shield attack, yep. But I have five more, secret hill I have five more skills to teach you, in time. The path to becoming a true hero is a long one, but once you have grasped all those hidden skills, you shall be w worthy of walking it. You must persist a lonely path. You must persist the lo on, the, on the lonely path of the sword to obtain true courage, and earn the strength to conquer the great evils of the world. Do not forget to discipline your, the, the blade before you meet again. Discipline a blade. Okay, interesting. All right. Well then, we're gonna do this part real quick, and then I guess I'll go ahead and call it. Because we don't want to make this too long of an episode. I mean, I know a long episode would not be too bad, but, you know, if you guys get bored, you don't want to watch it, so. So we're back in Ordon now. And then the start of the next episode is going to be a heart piece we're going to grab, so. Let's just go ahead and go over here. Originally, supposed to tell all, everyone else, but, uh... Link? Whoa, it is... It, it, whoa, it, it is you, Link. You're safe and sound. You're close. What happened to you, lad? G go inside, quick! Uh, I don't roll that way. Though, I kind of do, but not really. Anyway... I see. So the young ones are in Krakruko Village. Well, that's good. Renato is an old friend. If the, if they're in his care, we can relax. So don't keep me waiting, lad. Tell me, is my little girl Ilya with them? The rest of them, right? Oh, I see. That's not what I wanted to hear. Uh, Find Link. I guess I should think about think of all five of those poor kids, not just my own. They're all in danger. What you'd be asking is how I can help out. What's that now? The Goron's a death mountain? I see, so they're not to told you that. Well it's true, I did defeat the Gorons in a contest of strength and earned their trust. With the help of a little secret, can I teach you? A se I can teach you a secret, but you must promise me not to tell, uh, not to tell anyone. Absolutely, positively, I will not disclose any to anyone. Sure. Good. All righty then. Absolutely, no one. Come this way. Okay. Link, have you heard of su you've heard of sumo wrestling, right? The Goron Gorons like matching strength in a sumo in sumo contests. 
Luckily for you, the basics of sumo are just to s the same as stopping a charging goat. Want to hear more? No. Alright, so basically your press speed is slap, A to grab, and, uh, and we can move around with the joystick. There we go. I don't know why we lost the first one, but we did. Hmm. You seem to understand the basics. Alright, next time we'll go easy on you, lad. Fight me like you're fighting one of the Gorons. Damn, this is the longest sumo match I've ever had. Right, there we go. <clears throat> Whoa, not too shabby, lad. With your natural talent, I'm sure you can overtake the Gorons. You got a sight strong in short in time. You've been, you got a sight stronger in a short time. You've been gone, Link. Strong as you are, though, you can't hope to beat the Gorons with wrestling power. Those uh, power alone. 
Those Gorons are made of rock. Nah, the secret of the Gorons is locked away in that chest. Take it with you, lad. Okay, in this chest we got... Iron Boots! You can set them, yep. You can probably tell, but those boots are made of iron, lad. Whoever wears those boots won't easily push around, push around even by a Goron. If you're fixing to fight a Goron, you be sure to wear those boots. Let's be square, though, lad. You can't tell any, every, everything, every, you can't, you can't ever tell anyone about those boots, especially Renato. Well, joke's on you. You should have taught me. I'm going to go tell him everything. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the next episode, we will go get a heart piece from the ranch over here, and then we will also go ahead and head back to Kakariko. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, and if you want to, if you have missed the previous episode, click on the right side. If you want to see the most popular video on my channel, click on the left side. Also, if you want a shortcut to subscribe, click on the icon because it'll take you to my channel and then that's where you can subscribe. Then after you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell icon because you'll be notified when I upload videos if you do. I'm Reed 100, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.